Hola, buenos dias, good morning my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you could join me for an exciting planner setup video. It is currently August 30th, it's a Monday morning, I'm sitting out here in my backyard, in my garden, in my happy place with a stack of planners and it's time to set up my mega happy planner for the upcoming month which is the month of September. <laughs> Fall is right around the corner and I'm excited to set up my planner for the month. So if you're interested in seeing how I set up my mega happy planner for a new month, September, just keep on watching. I have been loving these clear vinyl storage uh, boxes that I got at Home Goods recently. They fit planners really, really well, and I just love being able to like see right through the storage and be able to pick out planners. I mean, I can identify a planner pretty much by the color of its rings, but it's it's so awesome just to like be able to look through the side and see all of the planners. Um, I've been loving these clear storage totes and I'm a huge fan of clear vinyl. There's something about clear vinyl that I just really, really like and it makes me happy. And the fit planners perfectly. I mean, it's not too tight, but it's just right. And yeah, I'm just loving these totes. This one says things on the side. It's super cute. Anyways, let's get into setting up my planner, my mega happy planner for the upcoming month. I cannot believe it's September. I mean, we always say this, we always are so surprised and shocked to see the months go by. So I cannot believe it is September already. I cannot believe it's going to be September in just two days. That's so shocking to me, even though, I mean, this happens every single month. Time passes. Who would have thought? But more so than any other month, I feel like August really flew by. I think that's because I went on vacation for almost two weeks at the beginning of August. And then I took a couple days off again this past week. I went backpacking in the Eastern Sea Eras. And so I've just been taking a lot of time off this month and it really made August fly by. So yeah i'm sad to see her go but anyways so this is my mega happy planner i love her she's cassiopeia that's what i've named her she's my fun happy planner um she's a whole solar system she has seven different planners in her she's a franken monster and i usually tend to have just one month in here at a time so right now i just have the months of august for all of my planners in here and i'm actually gonna end up staying with this uh with this cover the jungle vibes the discs my cover page i still am in love with it and i changed up the planner and the cover page of my other mega happy planner miss andromeda just to give me more september vibes and um i, I kind of want to stay with this one a little bit longer though because i just set up the cover page and i set up um, the discs and I changed into this cover so I'm still feeling it the yearly view I'm gonna stay with I think it's really cute um, I have this uh, decorative monthly overview page for July that I just kind of collaged with stickers because it's the back of the, the calendar I'm gonna keep my folder in here my sticky note dash that's gonna stay uh, my other folder with stationery and sketchbook paper that's gonna stay i'm gonna keep my wellness journaling pages in here as well and then um, let's get into the first planner section here so this is my gardening section and it's time to pull this baby out so i'm gonna go ahead and pull out these pages and then return them to the planner that we came from. So uh, this is a chance to see all of the planners that I have um, in case you're interested. So I use the Feel All the Feels skinny planner for my gardening planner. So I'm going to go ahead and pop in these the month of August into the rings here. Ooh, it's getting thick. It's hard to uh, pop these in. And then I'm gonna pull the month of September here. 
I love this divider. It kind of reminds me of a watermelon. Um, so I'm just gonna pop those into my section. I'm gonna grab my bookmark here and then pop it into the current week. And I still need to decorate all of my spreads for this week. I'll probably do that throughout the week. I just have been a little bit behind when it comes to decorating my spreads because I was on vacation for a couple of days this past week. And so I just really wasn't in my planner. Um, I went backpacking in the Eastern Sierras, which is so much fun. And obviously I could not bring my planner. So the envelopes are still going to stay there. And then we have my mindfulness, um, my mindfulness section here. And I kind of want to leave the August overview in here because I really like how this spread turned out. I think the monthly goals um, are still relevant. So I think I might leave that there, but I'm going to pull out the month of August here. I have to pull out these guys. I'm also going to leave in this week's spread because I didn't really work in it this week um, because again, I was on vacation, I was backpacking, I was not in my planner at all. I really was tempted to bring my, my planner backpacking, but if you have been backpacking, you know that you really need to travel lightly because you're carrying a lot on your back and the more you carry, the harder it is. And um, we, were, we weren't doing just a small backpacking trip. We were doing a pretty lengthy one. And so I definitely wanted to make it easier for myself. But whenever I don't um, really fill in a week spread, I just tend to leave it in my planner and I kind of back, back plan whenever I have the time. Um, because it really doesn't matter if you fill it in, you know, two, three weeks after the fact, because if, especially if you use it for something other than planning. So for my meditation journal, I don't really use it to plan. I use it to journal. So it doesn't really matter to me that I journal in it um, on days other than the actual date, if that makes sense. So I'm going to pull out these pages here and uh, pop in the September monthly. So these pages are from this planner and we're gonna jump to uh, this section here. I'm gonna pop in the month of August and then I'm gonna take out the month of September, which I love this divider so much. And then we can pop in the month of September and pop in the bookmark for the current week here. I'm gonna still keep my oracle cards clipped into the previous week because I still wanna work with these and they're just great cards that I still want to meditate on and reflect on, so I'm gonna leave them there. So that's my mindfulness section. And then the next section that we have here is my diary. I use a horizontal planner for this section and um, it's a lot of fun. This is from the Pressed Florals Planner, which I'll show you in a second. But um, again, this was my journaling spread for last week and I didn't write in it at all because again, I was backpacking. I was just wasn't with my planner. And so I'm gonna leave these this week in here because I can definitely journal and fill it up. And whenever I have blank spaces in my planner, I just tend to leave them in my planner and then I'll go back whenever I feel like I have time or energy and write in them. Because honestly, I can write and draw and doodle, you know, for days. It doesn't, like filling up space is not a problem for me. It's finding the time to fill up the space. And so I'll work on it at some other time. So this is the planner where these pages come from. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop in the, uh, the month of August here and pull for the month of September, which is gorgeous. And then my next section is my Japanese section. And I'm going to pull out the month of August, except for the last week, because I wasn't able to get into this spread um, this week uh, because <laughs> backpacking. So I am going to fill this in, um, you know, in the coming days, but I'm just going to leave that in there. And I'm going to pull for my lined vertical celebrate planner and put in 
uh, put back August. Let's get to August, June, July. I'm gonna pop in August here and then pull out September. Really, really cute divider. Oh, I love this planner so much. It's so bright and colorful. And then the next section is my reading section. So again, same song and dance. We're gonna pull out August here and we're gonna leave in the last week of August because I still wanna write in there and we're gonna pop in September. So this planner is the Welcome to the Book Club Horizontal Planner, absolutely perfect for a reading journal. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this planner. And I was back and forth whether I should uh, just get a happy notes for this section or get a, a different type of style of planner um, besides the horizontal because there's just so many more options um, for planners besides horizontal. But the I ended up getting this super cute, um, this is Marabou Designs. I think it's Marabou Designs. Uh, yeah, the Marabou Designs planner that just came out in their release. This is a horizontal as well and very, very neutral, which is something I wanted because this planner is super bright and colorful, which is fun, but at the same time, it kind of clashes with a lot of the uh, color palettes I end up using. So we're going to pull out the month of September here. I don't really like this divider that much. It's kind of plain. <laughs> it's okay though. So that is the month of September. We have that in there. And then the next planner section that I have is my four lizard planner section. So this is all my social media, YouTube stuff. Um, I'm gonna leave the August overview here because I didn't really write in it this month. And um, I, I kind of want to still use it as a space to brain dump, brainstorm, and so I'm just going to leave that in there. But I will pull out um, the August monthly calendar as well as um, monthly, as well as the weekly spreads. So we're going to leave this page in here because it has the September overview. And then I'm going to pull for my... Um, my what's what's this called again a uh, color block vertical this is the color block vertical and it's in the jungle vibes layout or the jungle vibe style that's what it is and we're gonna pull for september and this divider is really really cute i just love all of the designs on the dividers on this planner and this is the planner that I'm using the cover for on this thing, so that's why it's kind of naked whenever I pull it out. So we're gonna pop in the month of September here. And there we have that. And then the next planner section, oh, I forgot my bookmark. I gotta pop in my bookmark here. So all of my spreads are blank for this week, even though it is currently Monday, and I usually tend to have all of my spreads completely decorated by Monday morning. But actually, uh, across my 15 planners, I think I only have two or three spreads decorated um, out of the 15, which isn't something that usually happens for me. But like I said, I was backpacking last week, so I really didn't get back into town until late over the weekend. And then I was just unpacking, getting my home all settled, um, doing everything that I needed to do to get back to reality. So I just didn't have time to uh, decorate all my spreads. And sometimes that's what happens, you know, when you have a lot of planners and you like to decorate them all nice and cute, um, sometimes it just happens that you don't have enough time because you're busy living your life and that's totally fine you know for me it doesn't bother me at all because I know that I can decorate everything um, eventually and it doesn't bother me that I sometimes have to do it after the fact or be a little bit um, or just dedicate less time to it a lot of the times I will decorate my planner um, later on throughout the week in like I don't sit down and decorate it and then it's done what I'll do is I'll sit down decorate it some and then throughout the week I'll continue to build on those decorations and eventually fill it out so it's always a work in progress or a work in process for me and so that's why it doesn't really bother me to not have everything decorated you know by Monday morning 
So the next planner section that I have here is my memory section. This is my scrapbook section. And I'm gonna leave this uh, July overview in here just because I really love this monthly overview as pictures of me and my boyfriend. Um, but I'm gonna take out July here and this is the only planner section where I have two months at a time Just because I really enjoy like flipping through it um, And just seeing all of the memories. It just really brings me a lot of joy And so I just love having more than two months in here, but we're gonna leave in uh, August and then we're gonna pop in September. So this is the August overview pictures from my vacation, the passport photo of my boyfriend. Uh, we're gonna leave that in here because I'm still decorating this, uh, this monthly calendar. Again, I don't just sit down, decorate, and then call it done and never go back and, you know, play with it again. I will decorate it and then throughout the month, I'll just go back in on a monthly calendar spread, on weekly spreads, and I'll just add a sticker there, add a note there, add a washi tape here. You know, I'll just continue to build and build and build in small little pieces and small little ways throughout the month. So these are my August weekly spreads. I really liked how they turned out. And this is the week I went backpacking and I have this huge plan with me planned to decorate um, for this week because I went on this really fun backpacking trip. But um, I'll do that in another video. So we're gonna pull for this planner here. This is the um, Realistic Florals planner. I'm not sure the name of it, honestly, um, but we're gonna pull for the month of September here, which is this guy. Very, very cute dividers. And we're gonna pop in the month of July. I kind of want to leave this divider in um, in the planner because I just love its message here. And it fits really well with the theme of the planner, which is, you know, collect beautiful moments. So let's pop in September. And we're gonna go back in and pop in the July divider there. I might find a paper clip and clip these two pages together so that way um, there, I don't have like a random monthly calendar page here and a random weekly spread there. I mean, this is gonna be random, but at least I'll just have one random page here. So there we go, we have the August and then September. And then lastly, I just have some filler paper in the back here and we are done. We've set up my mega happy planner. So I'm gonna flip through it again um, just to show you how it all looks together. So we have my cover from the Jungle Vibes and then my cover page, um, the year at a glance, the yearly calendar. And then we just have a little fun collage page, a folder with origami paper and stickers, my sticky note dashboard, another folder with stationery and sketch paper, my wellness journaling section with these cute Mickey Mouse wellness journal pages. Then we have my first planner section. This is my garden section. So there she is in a skinny. Two envelopes with pictures. Uh, photos that I print out at CBS, stickers, and then my second planner section, which is my mindfulness section. Um, there we have a September overview, and then the September um, monthly and the September weekly spreads, all the way to my October overview, and then we have my journaling section. Um, so there we go, we have my September overview. And in my journaling section, I tend to like to use the overviews as like sticker collages because I don't really tend to use them very much um, because it is kind of like my diary, so I don't really need like a September overview. I'm still playing around with what I want these pages to look like. Um, but there's my September calendar and my September spre weekly spreads. Um, very cute October overview next my Japanese planner in a line vertical um, September overview and then we have my September monthly and September weekly spreads 
all the way to my October overview. And then we have my reading journal in here. Uh, with last week, I still need to fill that in. September overview, at least September monthly. And then these weekly pages here. And then we hop on to my next planner section, which is my YouTube, my four lizards section. So I'm gonna leave in a couple pages from last week in here, the September overview, which by the way, these are my least favorite monthly overviews that Happy Planner does. I don't like this thick black box here at the top or this separation between this grid and these two sections up here. Uh, I don't like it at all, but here's the September monthly overview and then the September weekly spreads. I'm using a color block vertical for my four lizard YouTube channel, which I've been really enjoying. And then my last section is my memory section. I'm using a vertical for this from the realistic florals planner. I just have stickers here. And then I just have my July divider in here because I love this uh, collect beautiful moments saying the random calendar page on the back. And then I'm also leaving the July overview in here because I really just love how it looks and it makes me happy and then i'm leaving the august overview in here as well because i like to leave in the previous month um, as well as the current month just for this planner section but i'm still decorating this page and i'm still decorating the monthly calendar view but here are all of my spreads so far and i'm right about to decorate this week's spread um, this is last week and then we have the September overview, the September monthly, and lastly, the September weekly spreads. And that is it. We have filler paper in the back, and that is all. So I hope that you enjoyed watching this planner setup for the month of September. Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Um, let me know if there are any plan with me for any of these sections that you would like to see. I would love to do that for you if you would like. And um, I'll see you in my next video. All right, everyone, have a wonderful day. Stay blessed, stay safe, and stay planning. Bye.